why it's bidding here. Ever wonder how and why analysts come up with certain numbers in their reports? And how did they come up with these numbers? Or if you've seen some of the newspaper interviews that I had, and then why did I come up with certain price levels? And then how these price levels are being derived? So let me just share further with you how these numbers are being derived and then why these numbers are important to you. Right, so this is a newspaper that I was interviewed on. So I'm uh, quite often uh, interviewed in the newspaper. So it's a Chinese newspaper in Singapore. So one of the things that I mentioned, all right, is that I said in here, so this particular section here, to say that if STI does not close below 3,240 points, all right, which is the support at that moment, then we, there might be a short-term rebound. All right, so the question is that how do I come up with 3,240? All right, and why is it that in an analyst report, you don't really see things like 3,244, all right, but instead you see, you know, round numbers. Okay, so let me just share with you uh, my thoughts here. Right in here is a stock chart, a price chart of STI, the Straits Times Index. Um, it is always that I, I've used the Straits Times Index to base my um, you know, analysis on for the Singapore stock market. Now, um, most of the time when I answer questions or when I look at important levels, I rely on two things. Okay, Number one, that would be a historical levels meaning that I look at what happened in the past and to answer questions like what are the important historical levels. So historical levels are important levels that help us decide whether currently this particular level is going to be important again. Now the second thing is that um, the levels that we always provide for the newspapers or you know in fact in our own analysis will always be round up or round down. So this is more convenient and it's actually a very useful tool. So for example, when you have a price level at 3,020, so you want to actually round it down and this is what human, the majority are thinking of, all right? And if everybody is looking at 3,000, then 3,000 level will come true or more true than your own level, which is at 3,025 maybe. All right. So um, generally, that's the two reasons. So we always use the historical price levels to come up with uh, key levels whenever we answer, uh, you know, um, reporters' questions, and we always tend to round up or round down. Now, once you have this knowledge, I think that it's very important to use whatever that it's being reported, all right, and to use it in your own price chart. Now, why is that so? Because remember, when these levels are being communicated, now it means that people read it. Okay. So, for example, if it's being reported in the mass media, all right, is so the the levels which I've said will be important or become relevant because then it is known, it is widely communicated that three thousand two hundred and forty is a price levels. So. The numbers that is being written by analysts or being read by analysts or that's being published in the reports or even in the mass media becomes even more important because it's being self-actualized. Right? It means that in the first place, they are important price levels. But at the same time, not only that these are important price levels, at the same time, so these price levels are being known right, to the majority of the people due to the mass media publication. All right. So if you take a look into 3,240, where is that? Right. So for example, I have that 3,240 being drawn in the STI chart here. All right. So uh, the price level, the one that I've drawn here is about 3,244. So that's the actual price level I was looking at. All right. But because I wanted to, you know, give uh, the reporter uh, an easier value to remember and likewise to the readers so I've actually round it down it doesn't matter when we round down by just four points but this also means that because 3240 it's being reported here all right then it will become you know self-actualization and that might become more true okay so let's take a look into 3240 all right so I'm just gonna map in 3240 the exact precise level First thing, remember, we look at historical levels, all right? 
So switch that into historical prices, you realize that, hey, 3,240, which is the black line that's being drawn here, is actually a very re relevant historical level. Okay, it was, all right, a 2021 high. Okay, meaning that there was a high around this level here, right, that was being created, and then price stayed below or stayed respected. All right, by this key level 3240 for a long period of time. Okay, what will be the long period of time that I'm talking about? For a period of time that spans around here, and we are talking about that's potentially um, six months period. Now, not only that, look at the historical level somewhere to the left, you realize that uh, that black line also spans uh, a high level that happened before this this huge drop here. So where is the huge drop I'm referring to? Before this huge drop here. All right. If you look at the timeline, then the huge drop was just after the start, of the first start of the COVID. Okay, back in 2020 in February period. That's where China had the first case of COVID. All right. So in this case here, this marks a very important price level. Okay, this price level means that you know, because it's a historical price level means that it was previously being resisted once. Okay, so then if you take a look at the history, this important price level was true, was made true once here before the start of the COVID, before price had a huge drop, and twice here, right, where the price made a recovery and it hit right in the first instance of the resistance. Okay, so now in other words, it means that because these are important price levels and they are being picked up by analysts and you know people who are trading or looking at the market or even fund managers or professional traders, then they are also made true with by the math mass media. Okay, the fact that three thousand two hundred forty was mentioned, you know, you find that they are likely going to become true. So uh, one little tip here for you to find important price levels is to take what the analysts mention or what that's being mentioned in mass media and then plug it into the price chart and see whether they make sense to you. Okay, If they do make sense and it becomes relevant to you, then you know that this is an important price level I want to watch. Now, so let's apply what I've just shared with you here. Now, what I just shared is that we are going to look at important price level from what the analysts or what the mass media are looking at. Now, so what happened is that if this important price level are broken or are not broken, they have important implication. Why is that so? Because it means that uh, we will be looking into uh, this price levels and with this price levels, if price does really close below this price levels, which in this case here for straight times on the twenty fourth of August, all right, we are seeing that you know on the week chart there is potential chance for price to close below this important price level three two four zero. So if there is really a close below it, now what this means is that you know potentially. You know, you will, you will become more true as more people get exposed to it. All right. So this is how we guess important price levels. First, we look at historical. Second, if these price levels are being published in the mass media widely, then, you know, there is this self-actualization effect and the more you will become true. All right. So when you read the newspaper, please remember to note down this important price level. If you like this video, remember to subscribe and give a thumbs up. Thank you. See you next video.